in test 4. Today is 9th of July, 2057. This is Dr. Samuel Layden, and I'll be your overseer for this test. Good morning, test subject 4. Can you hear me clearly? Um, hello, is this working? <laughs> yeah, everything appears to be working. Uh, uh, subject 4, can you hear me? Is something wrong? I mean, hold on, let me check up. Oh, it says, oh, it says here that you're mute. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I didn't know. I wasn't informed of this beforehand. Uh, anyways, let me just explain how this works. You probably have already read the no, since you were required to read the contract before you signed it. But I'll bring you over the basics just for you. We here at Quanti specialize in quantum research and experiments. You're here to test out a new invention we call the Quantum Size Regulator, or QSR for short. You've already been given the device, and it should be strapped around your hip. The purpose of this device is to rearrange or add quarks in any object it's strapped to. In layman's terms, that's, uh, it changes the size and weight of any object it's attached to. In this case, it's you. We'll explain more when we get to the tests. Before we begin, though, I'd like to remind you that in the off chance of death, your family will be sent payment as compensation. Anyway, let's begin. All right. Before we get to the more extreme experiments, we have something simple here. Simple. Test one passed. Now we can get to the QSR. There should be a button on the left. Excellent. You've passed that test too. All right. On the right side of your device, there is a button. Instead of making you shrink, it will increase your size. Not only that, but it will also make you heavier. You're right. You survived test three. As you probably noticed, when you shrink, it becomes easier to move around. Your light. All right. Now we've got a few jumps for you. Like I said before, being small allows you to jump further due to your lighter weight. Use that to your advantage. Great. Test for solid. On to the next one. And for... So, how are you doing, anyway? Oh, right. You're mute. I'm just going to assume you're fine, since you haven't dropped to the floor crying like the previous people. Me? I'm doing pretty alright. Not too good, and not too bad. Things have been going haywire up top, but I'm sure you already knew that. You know, it's actually a nice change of having someone who doesn't talk. It was a lot different with the other three subjects. Did you hear what happened to them? Oh, right, you can't respond, sorry. Uh, subject one was a pretty nice... Alright, great. Man, I'm hungry. I'd get up and go eat something in the cafeteria, but I'd get in a lot of trouble if I just left you here. So, the sooner you finish these tests, the faster I get out of here to go grab a snack. All right, on to the next. You know, I was thinking... Oh, shit. Hold on. Sorry, someone just walked in. Apparently, there's going to be an inspection later on. Someone from the higher-ups is going to come down here and check out what we've been up to. I'm willing to bet. Great, <laughs> on to the last. I wonder how Teach is doing. I'm not actually a doctor, you see. I'm an apprentice. My teacher, Dr. Weaver, is the inventor of the QSR. He spent a lot of time on it, and you wouldn't believe the look on his face when he finally solved it. He almost broke down the door in the cafeteria when he came to tell me the news. It was very nice. It's a shame how the higher-ups treat him, though. They were never really there to be interested in his work. They were more focused on other projects and what other people had to do. He had to fight so hard to even get a little bit of funding. That's why this test isn't that large or impressive. We don't have a facility like others. We just didn't have enough funding for this. All the money is going towards other projects. Weaver would be here if he could, but he's sick at the moment, so I had to take over. And that's all of them. Congrats. All the tests have been passed. You know, this was a really nice, good break from all the daily stress. You doing good? 
No injuries or nausea? No? Great. Then everything was successful. I'll open the door for you in a bit, but be sure to just walk down the hallway and there you should be in a small room where you can just rest for a bit. And then you can collect your payment and me? I'll go and go get something to eat. So goodbye, Subject 4. Thank you for your participation. Oh yeah, I gotta end this recording professionally. <coughs> Test were successful. All tests completed and no abnormalities in the test subject. The date is 9th of July, 2057. Overseer, Dr. Samuel Aiden, and Test 4.